Tonight is National Night Out, an opportunity for police departments across the country to engage with the community. And it's important now more than ever, given the challenges between police and the public over the past year. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt was there and joins us now from Oakland Beach in Warwick with the focus of tonight's event. Rob? National Night Out in Warwick isn't just about law enforcement. Firefighters, the National Guard, and even the Rhode Island Blood Center engage with the community Tuesday. One day a year, all over the U.S. Across the country, same day, yep. Police stations organize their own national night out, talking with the public about making the community safer. Family fun event. In Warwick, Oakland Beach becomes a complete takeover, where Colonel Brad Connor and his department get to put on demonstrations and talk to the community face to face. Anytime we can have non enforcement communications with, with folks from the city, um, it's, it's incredibly valuable. He says it's especially important to answer the questions about changes made since police. Brutality became a global conversation in 2020. Our officers are trained in de escalation. Um, we also do a lot of community outreach uh, and mental health training as well. The COVID 19 pandemic was also a big headline in 2020, preventing a night out in Warwick last summer. The first cancellation in the more than 20 years that Donna Travis has been an organizer. Especially after COVID, we know this was really important to do this. Well, every year it's very important to get the community together. Learning what can result from texting and driving, how to help with blood shortages during the pandemic, and how to get out of a burning building through the smokehouse simulation. How to get out, how to stay low, climb out of that, uh, you know, crawl out of the house. Uh, to safety. A night to bring the community and public safety together under positive circumstances. It's very important. It allows us to have a, a bigger reach in one night. And going out with a bang. According to the Warwick Police Station, around 1,500 people attended the city's national night out. Reporting in Warwick, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.